Hello everyone, this is Venu Gopal. Today in this session, we are going to cover instance method versus class method versus static method. Instance method means these methods are bound to, to the instance of the class. Instead of the instance of the class means what? Object of the class. Whereas this class methods and static method, both are bound to the class directly, not to the object of the class. So static method is also bound to the class, not the object of the class. This is the first point. Now the second one is what? Whenever we are using this instance method, by default, one parameter is added. That parameter is called as self parameter right so whenever we are going to use the instance method it will add one parameter that parameter is called as self mad parameter in class method also whenever we will create the class method it will add one first pr parameter as a cls parameter whereas in static method there will be no parameter This is the second point. That means here, if we'll talk about the modification part here, it can modify the behavior of object or instance variable. Behavior of instance variable. Whereas in class method, it can modify our access modify or access the state of or behavior of class means what it can change the configuration globally of the class configuration of class but if we'll talk about static method, it can't change or it can't modify, right? The state of the class. This is what the third point. If we'll talk about the fourth point, we can access this instant method, access this instance method using object of the class. That means instance of the class. Whereas for class method, we can access actually recommended approach is what we need to access using class name only. You can access with the object also, but the recommended approach is what you have to access using the class name for static method is strictly using a class name only for a class method. You can use the object also. No problem. So this is what the fourth point. And if we'll talk about the last point, the major difference here, we are not going to use any decorator to identify. This is the instance method, but whereas whenever you're defining a class method, you have to use class method decorator to create a class method and static method, static method decorator to create a static method. So this is all overall the basic uh, differences between instance method, class method, and static method. The number one difference is what? It, the instance methods are bound to the instance of the classes. Whereas the static method and class methods both are bound to the classes. That is the reason why they can modify or access the state of the class. Second one, whenever you are creating this instance method, by default, one argument is created, right? Or parameter is uh, created with the name what self keyword. Whereas in class method, CLS parameter is going to create it as a first parameter. But when we'll talk about static method, there will be no parameter. That means what, whatever the parameters you're passing through the uh, function, right? They are used to perform the utility task. Okay. So modify the behavior of instance variable. You can modify the instance behavior using instance method. 
whereas you can modify the configuration or behavior of the class by using a class method but you cannot do anything right only you can perform the utility task in the static method the next point is what how to access the instance method you have to use object right to access the instance method whereas in the class method also you can use the object or else you can also use the way using the class name but strictly when we'll talk about the static method you have to access the recommended approach is what using the class name anyhow you can access with the reference or instance also but the recommended approach is using a class name here instance method there is no need of creating a decorator but whereas if you are creating the class method you have to use the decorator as uh, at the rate class method and at the rate static method for static method now quickly we'll see a simple program to understand practically to do so i'll take one class like a demo class you know uh, in the last my video how to create a class we can have a multiple approaches now here suppose i'll create one function define one function f1 and see the moment I'm pressing the round parenthesis, the self parameter is automatically uh, placed inside the function as a first parameter. So now you can assume what kind of method it is, right? So you can, if you see the differences just now, where is the self parameter? The self parameter is in the instance method. So you can say that this method, this first method, whatever we wrote here, F1 is the instance method. So I'll put a comment here. It is a or else for example i'll take a comment over here this is a instance method no need of creating any decorator this is the instance method inside this i'll simply print like this is a instance method okay so this First method is an instance method. Okay. Now, second one, if I'll write one normal method, like a class method, for example, I'll take one F2 method inside this. Automatically, you're observing, right? It is giving a self method. That means by default, the methods are what? These all methods are by default. They are the instance method. That means what? This F2 function belongs to my demo class. But if I don't want to do so, if I want to create a class method, right so we need to use a decorator at the rate class method is a decorator the moment i'll use this class method decorator now again observe carefully whenever i'm trying to create one function and whenever i'm opening the parenthesis automatically it is including the first parameter as a cls like we have discussed in this one see Whenever I'm creating a class method using this class method decorator, it is automatically including the first parameter as what CLS. Okay. So this method is what this method is a class method. And to identify this method as a class method, we need to use what at the rate class method decorator. Now, simply I'll print one message here. Logic, you can write anything, but I'll try to make it so simple. This is what this is a class method. Okay, and finally, I'll create one more method to demonstrate the next one that is a static method. To create a static method, we need to use the decorator as a static method decorator. Whenever I'll enter the static method decorator, colon is not required. And the moment if I'll try to create one function that is F3, and if I'll open the parenthesis, earlier functions what happened whenever i have opened i have started open the parenthesis it has included the first by default parameters in case of instance method it has taken the self parameter in case of uh, class method it has taken the cls parameter but if you observe carefully here whenever i have tried to use uh, creating the static method it has not included any of the parameter because as we discussed it is not going to create any parameter by default whenever you're using to create the static method using a static method decorator. So manually, if you want to pass any argument, obviously you can pass. For example, I'm passing one argument as a name. And suppose here, I'll write print. This is a static method and comma, hello. And I'll try to print the argument that is name. 
Now we'll try to access this all methods. We know that how to access this all methods. The first method, if I were the first of all, we need to create the object of the class because this instance method are going to access with the help of object of the class. Okay, so if I want to create the object, it's a very simple syntax like d equals to I need to write the class name that is demo class. And after that, if I want to access f1 function, now f1 function is the instance function, so I need to use the object d dot f1. Next function is what? It's a class method. We have two approaches. Either you can use a class name or you can use a object name because uh, these two functions are directly related with the uh, bound to the class. So you can access with the class name also. For example, if I will use a demo class dot F2, this is one approach or you can directly access with the help of object also. The third function F3 is strictly it is a static method. So obviously we need to use a uh, class name while calling the function demo clause dot F3 and it is taking one parameter. So we need to pass the parameter as what for example Raj. Right. So it's a very simple program. The first one I have created one class. After that, I've created the first one is the instance method. So it is an instance method. The by default, it will take the first parameter as the self parameter. Second method, I've created the class method. Okay. So this is a class method. So first parameter by default, it is created as a CLS. And the third one is a starting method. So no parameter is going to be def created defaultly. So we have to pass manually if you want. So I have passed one name argument and while calling this, I'm passing the parameter. Okay. If I'll execute this one, right click. And if I'll click on this class method, you can observe that the output is instance method. Second one is class method and third one is static method. So I hope this is a very simple program. Already we have explained the differences also. These all are the differences between instance method, class method, and static method. This is very important program to understanding the advanced concepts in your Python because at project level, whenever you want to create a variables, different methods, some modification if you required. So this kind of programming will help you out. So that's it for uh, this session. We will come up with some more videos. Till then, keep watching. Bye-bye.